by Tilsley again. The assistant, the manager, the kit man, the substitute, the interpreter. Yes, the interpreter. You get all sorts in the dugout these days. Polish speaking Paul Savko is in the Everton dugout because Polish speaking Robert Varshika is in the Everton team. Robert's job is to lend his pace and craft to the Everton right wing. Paul's is to tell Robert how well he's doing that job. It's Everton tactics, set pieces. You get, you get all the inside info, you know what's going on. And you have to tell him off when he does something wrong, I suppose. He never does anything wrong. <laughs> Last night, Vajshika came up against Arsenal's Anders Limpa. Ironically, they could have been face-to-face -face in an international match tonight. Poland plays Sweden in Katowice, where the clubs managed to obtain releases. George Graham's problems with the Swedes have been well documented, though. He says he won't shop abroad in future. But Everton have managed to match up Vajshika's internationals with their free weeks, and he'll not miss any club games this season. Varshika had the first clear chance of a night when he took Everton half an hour or more to set up Arsenal for a spectacular second half kill. But nevertheless, the first deadly blow was struck just before half time. Played more than four minutes of stoppage time at the end of this first half, but it can't go on long enough for Everton. Really beginning to open up for Mark Ward. Oh, it's a beauty! And on a night when we've been talking about two foreign wingers. It's a born and bred Mersey winger who breaks the deadlock. A picture goal from Mark Ward. An hour gone. Everton pushing on in search of the all important second. Adams a bit lax there. Neither he nor Winterburn really took charge. Here's Beersley with Cotty free. And Cotty scored. And the tiny terrors have combined to make it 2 0. So unlike Arsenal, Adams usually pushed those in the top tier. But he failed to clear. Beasley waited what seen an age before sliding it under Seaman to Tony Cotty. And there is push on Cotty conceding the free kick. Teed up for Ward. He's done it again. 3 0. And Mark Ward's really grafted for his two goals tonight. The second deflected, I think, off the charging Lee Dixon. It was a glory, glory night at Goodison, all right. If you've met an Everton fan today who's claiming they could have had seven or eight, he's not lying. Vashika should have had two or three himself. As it was, his bedazzled marker, Nigel Winterburn, managed a late consolation for Arsenal instead. 3-1, though, a suitable 28th birthday present for Robert and another suitable return on Howard Kendall's bold half-a-million-pound investment. He's not bad. He's not bad. Um, and he's... What he, what he is, is very intelligent as well, I mean, in terms of a football brain. Uh, I know that he didn't speak a word of English, but uh, Neville Southall's uh, took him under his wing, and he's, he's, now, he's now fluent. <laughs> but at the same time, if you, if you talk football to him, you only have to tell him once about a certain thing, and he does it. He said it's finding hard at the moment, but the more he gets accustomed to him, he's sure the better he'll play. And is he a good interpreter? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs>